and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp set, Some Bunny and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. This set has two standing bunnies in two different styles and a jumping bunny too. It has this little flower garden box, a watering can and some water to come out of that watering can. There's a carrot cake and a trowel or a little shovel there. We've got a carrot in two different styles and then we have two different styles of flower as well. We also have a little Easter egg and some smiley faces that you can add to things like the watering can and the carrot. We have some really fun sentiments. So we have some bunny and then bunny in a different style loves you. And then we have another bunny in a different style. And then we have every bunny needs a friend like you. And then we have friends are flowers that never fade. Happy Easter, of course. I care about you, and you take the carrot cake. We also have a little heart and one more smiley face. I'm going to be using my Copic markers to add some color to these cute images, and I'm using some really light warm gray markers to create white bunnies that just have a little bit more going on. And I'm making the darker areas kind of under the chin, around the arm, etc., where all the curves of the stamp are, and they're still white, but they've got a little something going on. I've got some cute little pink ears and then a turquoise watering can because, well, I love turquoise and I always color anything I can turquoise. Uh, to help me blend these markers, I'm touching the light marker to the dark marker to help me create a medium shade. I also like creating little brown bunnies too, especially because I have brown bunnies all around my house that are super cute. Um, and so I'm gonna use E51 and E53 and I think it's just a perfect color for one of those really light brown bunnies. Next up, I'm going to be coloring this little garden box or flower box, and I love it because you can put the carrots or the flowers in there, which is really cute. And so I'll be blending those out in similar markers to the bunny with just a little bit of a darker shade so that they coordinate really well. And next, I'll give some darker brown color to that little soil there. Now, next, I'm going to be coloring in my carrots, both on the carrot cake and the individual carrots. And then after that, I'll be coloring the carrot cake. And I love the carrot cake and the sentiment that goes with it. It makes me so happy, but it also makes me want cake. So now I'm gonna have to go find some. Next, I'll cover, color in the little trowel or shovel. And then I'll give some color to these cute little flowers and Easter egg. I've picked out some kind of Eastery colors in yellows, pinks, and purples and turquoises that I just, I think they're so cute for little Easter eggs. So here are the coordinating dies, which you can bend apart at the tabs, or you can use your wire snips to separate them. I'm gonna take those dies and line them up with my stamped images. I'll hold them in place with some low tack tape, and then I can run them through my die cut machine, cutting them all out perfectly so that they're ready to add to my cards. These images are just so cute, and I love that they can be for Easter or friendship or kind of everyday cards. And so the bunnies have their hands out there so that they can hold the different things. So they can hold the carrot cake, the shovel, the carrots, the flowers, and then you could put the carrots into that little garden box and you could put the flowers there. The bunny can hold the flowers or you can stick them in the garden box. So you can kind of mix and match the images to create really cute little scenes. Next up, I'm gonna be recreating a really cute card by Elise, and I'm using my outside in Easter egg stackables to die cut three white cardstocks and one of my Watercolor Wishes birthday candles paper. Then I'll be using the Easter egg frames to cut out a white frame as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and line up my little paper here, my blue sky, onto an egg base, and that's gonna be actually my card base because I'm making an egg-shaped card. Then I'm gonna be using my stitched garden border to die cut one of those little eggs there. So we're gonna die cut that egg and we'll have our little garden porter piece to be our ground there for that sky that we created earlier. And what I'm gonna do is use some antique linen distress ink to add some color to this ground. I wanted it to be a really, really light brown for this kind of dirt that our carrots are gonna be in. And I didn't have a cardstock that light. So I decided to use my ink blending tool to create a custom color of cardstock, which I think looks really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna actually be cutting one of my sentiments in half. That way I can just use one of the phrases from it. And if I wanna put it together again later, I can stick them together on my block. And I wanna curve that sentiment. So I'm taking a piece of acetate and layering it on top of my die cut. Then I can take my stamp and curve it while sticking it to the acetate, which is gonna hold it in that perfectly curved position. Then I can take my block and pick up that stamp in the perfect position. And I love using this way to curve stamps to just fit whatever shape that I need them to fit. 
I also stamped Every Bunny Needs a on the top of the sky. And then now I'm gonna add some adhesive to my little dirt panel and start put, putting in my little carrots there. So I'm tucking them into that stitch garden panel and I just love that so much. I think it's so cute with them sticking out and I like the two in one of the little dirt mounds. Next, I'm gonna add a little glue to my Easter egg frame and layer that on top to give this egg-shaped card kind of a finished look, although it would be cute without the frame too. And then I can go ahead and start to work with my cute little bunnies. So I'm gonna layer my bunnies onto the card and I'm gonna have them holding a carrot together, which I think is gonna be really, really sweet. Now since I want this to be an egg-shaped card, I need to create a back for my card. So I'm taking one of my egg stackables and I'm creating a score line three quarters of the inch from the top. Then I'm gonna fold that back and I'll add some adhesive to the area above that fold line. And then I can line my two pieces up together, creating my egg-shaped card. So I'm gonna kind of stack them together, almost like a deck of cards, push on the top. And now I have a really, really cute egg-shaped card, which I think is just perfect for Easter and springtime. Now, this card, if you wanted to display it, it would just roll right over. So my little trick for that is to just trim off a really small amount, like an eighth of an inch off the bottom of the egg shape, and now the card is gonna stand up perfectly. Next, I'm using the largest outside in stitch rectangle to die cut some watercolor cardstock. I've also cut an Easter egg there out of some God I Have gingham paper and the Easter egg frame out of some sticky note cardstock. Next up, I am gonna do some watercoloring and I needed a palette for my watercolors. So I actually just took a piece of cardstock and put it in some extra packaging that I had and now I've got a perfect palette to create with. So I'm gonna smear some Distress inks on here and I've got Shaded Lilac, Tumbled Glass, then next up I have Cracked Pistachio, and then Squeezed Lemonade, I believe it's called. Then I've got Spun Sugar and Warm Lipstick as my other colors, and then I also put some Carved Pumpkin on there. And so what I love about using the white car suck is that I can really clearly see those colors and use them for my palette. Next, I'm taking a wet paintbrush and picking up some of that Distress Ink from my palette and just smearing it randomly onto my cardstock. And I have to admit, I'm honestly kind of a little bit scared of watercolor. I never really do it. And Audrey made this incredible card and I wanted to make one just like it. So I asked her if I could make it for the video and I thought it might help me get out of my fear of watercolor too. So I want to be honest, this is my third try. The first two, I was way too heavy handed. I kept adding more and more ink and more and more water and it just looked really bad. <laughs> so this time I tried to be really light and not put that much on and realizing that as it dries, it's gonna end up looking really good. And you can see that I'm kind of going over the edges between each color to make sure those colors are kind of blending. That th Like the yellow and pink are kind of making a bit of an orange in the middle, which I really like. So I'm kind of putting my Easter egg in the center, seeing if I like it. I'm gonna dry it with my heat gun and then I'm gonna notice there's this really dark pile of watercolor there at the bottom and I don't really like that. So I'm gonna take my wet paintbrush and kind of smear it back into my color and dry it and now I'm really liking how it looks. Here I'm taking a Bannertastic banner and I'm gonna stamp that out and then I'm gonna take my Happy Easter sentiment from somebody and I'm gonna curve it in the shape of that banner onto my block. And then that way I can stamp it and then that sentiment's gonna match the banner. And that's one thing I just love about clear stamps, how you can kind of bend them and make them kind of look how you want them to. I'm taking a light yellow marker and just going around the edges of the stamp just to give it a little bit of that yellow but not so that it's completely bright yellow, so it's gonna kind of blend into my Easter egg. And then I'll use the coordinating die to cut it out. And you can start to see the little seam that we're gonna create there. Next up, I'm creating a standard size card base of four and a quarter by five and a half. And I really like the look of this watercolor panel being kind of tone on tone with the white in the background. I think it looks really pretty and just really soft for spring and Easter. Now I've got my little Easter egg there in the center and I can start to create my whole scene kind of around this egg. So once I've got that in the right place, I'm gonna add some little shine marks with a white gel pen to my images. I did it to the carrots and the Easter eggs. And then I've added some foam dots to the back of everything and I'm gonna to start to layer everything. So I've got my banner and then my cute little jumping bunny in the center there. And then these guys are gonna look like they're holding up the banner. And then I'm gonna add the little carrots and the Easter eggs around to just kind of help set the scene and also kind of give some nice pops of color to the card too. 
and I am so excited with how this turned out. I am so glad that I tried making the watercolor background and I'm gonna keep trying and practicing more so I can get them to look as amazing as Audrey's do. And so if you guys try something new, let me know because it's always fun to kind of try a new technique. It's kind of invigorating. Next up, I wanted to make a gardening card with this set. So I've got some watercolor wishes paper, some gotta have gingham paper, and some paper bag cardstock. And I'm gonna be trimming these all down to be five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'll trim down all of my pieces, and then I'm gonna take my stitched garden border, which just works so well with the Sun Bunny stamp set, and I'm gonna line that up onto my paper bag cardstock. I'm then gonna take a simple grassy hillside, which is the same slope as that stitch garden border, so they coordinate perfectly, and then die cut some watercolor wishes paper with that. And you'll see now how that scene is kinda gonna layer and look. I went ahead and colored a bunch more of the brown bunnies in the same style as that jumping one that we did earlier, and of course a ton more carrots too. And so I've got my little border here, and so I'm adding some adhesive to it, and I'm gonna layer that onto my grassy area. Then now I'm gonna take my stamped images and start tucking them into the garden border. And I love mixing the carrots and the flowers together. I just think it's a really cute and fun look. Next up, I'll add a little tape to my bunny's paw and have him hold the watering can. I'll also add the little water coming out of the watering can too. And then I'm gonna give the other little bunny the little shovel or trowel. I'm never quite sure what the right word for that is, but I'm gonna layer those on there. And then I'm gonna stamp my Some Bunny Loves You sentiment here with some Versamark ink so that I can white heat emboss on it. So I'll sprinkle my white heat embossing powder on there. And then I'm gonna heat that up with my heat tool and get this really nice bright white sentiment. Now I'm creating this card and it's inspired by cards that are from Lizzie and from Jen. And so they both inspired me to make this card and I just think it's so fun to get inspired by your friends. So I'm gonna be taking a card base here that's four and a quarter by five and a half and now it's time to layer all of my pieces. So I have some gotta have gingham paper which I think is really cute and pretty for a sky. And then I can layer this whole scene on top. Now for my bunnies, I didn't really want them completely popped up, but I didn't want them flat either. So I'm just taking one foam dot towards the top of their head so that they have a little dimension, but they're still flat against the ground. And I think it's kind of a cool look. Now right at this moment, I was looking at the card and the sentiment was kind of high up there and I thought it looked kind of too plain at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off a quarter of an inch off my card. Um, and I think it actually really fixed kind of the spacing issue and it looks really, really pretty now. And it just makes me happy. I love this for a friend, especially one that loves to garden. And then one of the things I love about this set so much is that it's perfect for Easter, but it's really great for friends cards too. So I love that from one set, you can get a ton of different ideas. We have some amazing cards by the design team and this card by Jen is the one that inspired me to make mine. I also love this card by Jen too using the new peekaboo backdrop. I love kind of the comic book effect that she has going there. This card by Lynette is adorable. I love that perfectly plaid green plaid on there. It looks amazing. I love how Shari created a cute little hopping bunny that's hopping right off her card. It's just adorable. And then here is that watercolor background by Audrey. And one day I'm gonna to get to the point where I can make one like that. I can't wait to practice. This card by Elena is so cute. I love how she combined Easter party with the Sun Bunny stamp set. I love this card by Nicole and I love how she used that kind of paper in the background that looks like a notebook paper. I think it's such a cool effect for the sky. And Letitia's color is so cute. I love that bold raspberry cardstock on there. I love how Shari created all these tiny little squares. I think it's just adorable and how she just used the top half of the bunnies. And then Elise combined the little flowers and the garden border dies with this set and I think it's just adorable. This is that card by Lizzie that also inspired me to make the card today and it's just so sweet with that jumping bunny at the bottom. And then Yanea just blew me away with her kind of vertical garden that she created with her little bunny peeking out. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with some bunny, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!